I'm going to make a reticulated wrap ring band. So here's a piece of silver that I've prepped. It's been annealed, cooled, cleaned ten times, same way as all the other pieces. Now I'm going to do the annealing. I've got my torch. I'm going to get it up to temperature. quite cold in here today so it's going to take a bit longer than previous goes. This is it coming up to a kneeling temperature so it's almost getting hot enough to start reticulating. a longer piece I probably have to do a small section at a time so it's starting so now I'm going to move to a different part and again move to a different part and keep jumping around so hopefully I don't end up completely melting it Stuff with the reticulation. I'm heating it, it's starting to shimmer. I'm going to hold it a little bit longer. It's getting very shimmery, hit the heat off, and it starts to crinkle. Some nice textures on that, so I'm just going to <laughs> easy said and done one handed. Pick it up, cool it in the water, pop it in the pickle to clean for a while, and then I'm going to give it a good scrub, the brass brush, and see what I've got to work with. It's out of the pickle now, giving it a quick scrub. You can see the texture there. I'm just deciding what to do with it. I've got a tourmaline here and a little bit of gold, nine karat gold wire. So I think what I might do, I might solder some gold wire to the band, then turn it into a ring shape and then set the tourmaline onto it. And also over here I have the crinkle sheet. You can see the difference there of how deep those textures are compared to the reticulation on this one, which was done the normal way. Um, but I also have another bit of gold here, which I think I might make a frame for the crinkle sheet, and then I might set this little tourmaline over the bit that I flattened when I was mucking around with it, because there's not much texture on that little piece. Right, I've used some cotter split pins to hold my gold wire nice and tight onto my reticulated base. So it needed a little bit of help staying tight just because of that undulating texture and then I've popped some little bits of hard silver solder on the far side of the wire. So now I need to get my piece up to temperature. I'm angling my torch so that I'm heating my silver base. I'm trying as much as possible to completely miss that little bit of gold wire because I do not want that gold wire to melt. So I'm heating the big bit, which is the silver, and avoiding the skinny bit, which is the gold.
it would have been easier to do this with my bigger torch but let's say this one stops the camera going out of focus quite so much that's one little bit of solder gone so I'm going to move down to this area now that bit's gone that bit's gone and that bit's gone There you go, that's it being cooled and you can see how disgusting it looks at the minute. Um, so that's one of the big things about silversmithing as well. I always tell people don't be put off during the process because until you give everything the final sand and polish, everything tends to look kind of manky. So all this needs is a good clean in the pickle and then a bit of a file and sand. It's been cleaned up. So I've got some ring making pliers, some half round ones, and I'm just going to bend it into a very, very, very rough ring shape. Just to give it a helping hand before putting it on the mandrel. And now I'm going to put this on my ring mandrel and give it a bit of a wallop just till it sits nice and tight, nice and round, and then I can decide um, about the stone setting and what to do with that. It's nice and clean, nice and round. It fits, so I've just got to decide what to do about this little guy. And whether to set him onto the ring band, or whether to go with something simpler, like um, some little gold balls. I'm going to have a little think and while I have a little think I'm going to do a bit more work on the frame for this one. There we go, one reticulated band set with that little tourmaline that I showed you. And I've just oxidised it, I've darkened it down with the liver of sulphur. Um, and I did it nice and slowly to build up those sort of rainbow colours into the silver, just to complement the stone. And you can't really do the best bit of... Um, Articulation of them spin around. It's around this side of the band. Oh. Just hidden by my finger. Nice crinkly bits. But yeah, let me know if you had a go, let me know how you got on, and I hope you enjoyed this month's videos.